Hey everyone, Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so I wanted to show you a super delicious recipe for mini chocolate chip cupcakes. So these are grain-free cupcakes and they use coconut flour and tapioca starch as the flour base. And I have my flours pre-measured because there's pretty much a 90% chance that if I measured them on camera, I would spill them everywhere. So the first thing we're going to do is mix together our coconut flour and our tapioca starch. You can also use arrowroot starch, either will work for this recipe. I'm also going to add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. And half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to whisk these ingredients together to combine them. Moving on to the wet ingredients, we're going to add six eggs. And then we're going to add half a cup of pure maple syrup. This is going to be our sweetener. And technically I think I should be using a liquid measuring cup for this, but it's a much larger thing to clean, so we're just gonna use this dry measuring cup. It won't hurt it. And then two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm using a hand mixer. Just going to blend this until it's kind of frothy. And now we're going to add our dry ingredients to the wet. Blend that up. And the last ingredient is palm shortening. You can also use coconut oil or butter if you don't have any issues with dairy. Um, I did melt it a little bit. We want this to be a really smooth batter. So I just find that melting, shortening, or coconut oil can really help um, with the consistency of the batter. But I did want to make sure that it cooled a little bit. I didn't want to add piping hot um, oil to my batter. So I did melt it just so it would blend easily and now it's cooled and I can add it into the batter. And now this may seem like a really loose batter, but that's okay because coconut oil absorbs a lot of moisture. So you really wanna have a lot of moisture in the batter so that you don't end up with really dry cupcakes. Now we have our batter, and now we're going to add some chocolate chips. I don't usually measure chocolate chips when I add them into cookies or cupcakes or muffins, um, just because I feel like with chocolate chips, the more the merrier. But if I were going to measure, I'd probably say about a half a cup to three quarters of a cup. So now we're going to fill our muffin cups. And I really like using the If You Care brand of um, cupcake papers. They just work really well with grain-free baking. They don't stick to the cupcakes. They peel away really easily. If you use any other cupcake papers, they will probably stick to your cupcakes, and when you peel them off, you'll end up peeling off half of the cupcake with them, which is super annoying. So these are the ones that I recommend. Everyone should buy them. So to make these extra fun for Valentine's Day, I'm making them in mini-sized, 
And when I say extra fun, I mean you're just gonna hopefully eat less if it's a mini size than a big size. So, um, and I just wanted to add that while the batter was sitting here, while I cleaned up all of my mess and got the cupcake, um, got the muffin tins ready, the batter started to set up and thicken a lot more than it was when I first combined it all together. So when you make these at home, you'll notice that the coconut flour starts to um, absorb the moisture in the batter really quickly. So you'll see why it's really important to have so much liquid um, versus dry ingredients in this recipe. So to fill my little adorable muffin tins, we're gonna be using a number 50 disher, AKA a cookie scoop. Um, and this makes filling muffin tins really easy. You just are going to scoop, scoop it and dish it. Just don't spill it. My mini muffin tins are full of delicious cupcake batter and I'm going to stick these in the oven now to bake at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. So my little cupcakes came out of the oven. They actually took about 15 minutes instead of 10. And I have another tray in the oven. This batter makes almost three dozen and it's like three dozen minus two cupcakes. So these are perfect for a party, either to take to a party or make for a party. So I just wanna show you guys what these cupcakes look like on the inside, just because they're a really great batter and look how awesome that paper pulls away. You don't have any cupcake that's stuck to the paper. It's just perfect. So I'm just gonna pull these apart and show you they're not gooey on the inside. They're just perfect chocolate chip cupcakes. Great texture. Oh my God. Oh my God. Just put that back. <laughs> Can't even tell. So I'm gonna let these cool completely and then I'm going to pipe them with some whipped coconut cream frosting. So now that my cupcakes are cool, I'm going to pipe some little roses on top so they just look super cute for Valentine's Day. And I'm just using a simple whipped coconut cream as my non-dairy frosting for these cupcakes. So here are my mini chocolate chip cupcakes. They're super cute and super delicious, perfect for Valentine's Day. They just have a simple whipped coconut cream frosting and you can add some fresh berries on top or you could sprinkle some cocoa powder just to make them look a little more fun. I hope you guys love this recipe and enjoy it on your Valentine's Day with someone that you love. If you guys like these videos and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can do that right here. Thanks for watching.